And together, you will ensure that it's only people who live in St. Lucia continue to run St. Lucia. There is no foreigner that have ever run St. Lucia. Check your history, Mr. Mitchell. And I'm going to ask your Grenadian people to keep you at bay and keep you under control. So, I want to tell you a little story. I could have lived in Canada too, you know. But I chose Grenada. My mother was living in Canada. In fact, I have a brother living there still. But I chose Grenada. So I want all St. Lucians to hear me. When the time comes, make sure that it's St. Lucians who you're putting into office. Make sure that it's people who like the Caribbean, who like Caribbean institutions, who are proud of our culture and of our heritage. Because that is what we have. St. Lucianness. And that is what you need to embrace to make sure. Precisely. St. Lucia have always been under the leadership. St. Lucia has always been under the leadership of a St. Lucian Prime Minister. No time in history have St. Lucia been led by a foreigner. St. Lucians are not stupid. And the brother, the Prime Minister of Grenada, made an attempt, and a very careless attempt, to disrespect the United Workers' Party and their leader. Because the reason why I say to you, the United Workers' Party and their leader, it is because the SLP are comfortable with that tone. A matter of fact, the SLP are the ones who gave him the script and said to him, this is the songbook that we are singing from. Our, 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 our talking point for this month is that Alan Shastney is a white man foreigner and we don't want him to become prime minister again. So we are going to go to the, 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 um, the, this, the house and we are going to try to mess with the, the constitution to accommodate that idea. So he got the note and he went on the platform speaking on an issue that he have no right in speaking on. We got your message clear. Don't hide behind those lawyer tactics with us by plain words. We are not dummies. Huh? In Grenada, we are not kunumunus. Yeah? So let me respond to you there, sir. Kind sir. And I'm going to ask your Grenadian people to keep you at bay and keep you under control. All right? First of all, the opposition leader, the Honorable Alan Shastney, is not a foreigner. Sir, just for your submission, is not he's not a foreigner. Two, he is from Saint Lucia. He's a Saint Lucian citizen. Three, he is the former prime minister of Saint Lucia. Four, he is the opposition leader of Saint Lucia. Sir, just in case you were misled by Mister Pear. I am here to tell you the truth. So I hope you can listen to me tonight. So one, there is no foreigner that have ever run St. Lucia. Check your history, Mr. Mitchell. St. Lucia have always 
been under the leadership. St. Lucia has always been under the leadership of a St. Lucian prime minister. No time in history have St. Lucia been led by a foreigner. St. Lucians are not stupid. That's exactly what you're insinuating here, that St. Lucians are so stupid and they're a bunch of idiots that they will allow a foreigner to get up from Canada or come from England, come to their country, run for a government, and become prime minister of the country. You are calling St. Lucian stupid, sir. That statement made no sense. Because over in Grenada, there is no foreign national that can come in and become prime minister, even though you give them free citizenship by investment and you make millions of dollars in citizenship by investment even though you give them the foreigners that you're talking about sir free citizenship to your country citizenship by investment they cannot become prime ministers in St. Lucia in, in Grenada huh yes you understand what I'm saying? So John Compton was a St. Lucian. He was a St. Lucian citizen. The Honorable Alan Chastney is a St. Lucian citizen. St. Lucia have never been run by no foreigner after independence. The only foreigner that still has authority in St. Lucia, is the king in England. He is the foreigner. And the last time I checked, I believe he is still your head of state. He is the foreigner. So if you are talking about foreigner, well, go and take, turn Grenada into a republic. Remove your foreign head. Remove your governor general. That's the only foreigner we have here. That's the only foreigner you have, Mr. Mitchell, Mr. Bright Brother. The only foreigner we have as head of state is the king in England. So don't come down to St. Lucia and peddle this foolishness and join in targeting Join in the racism from the Labour Party in St. Lucia. You join Mr. Grenadian Prime Minister. You join with that racist tone from the St. Lucia Labour Party, from Mr. Philip J.P. He is the one who is spreading the racism at this point in the country. You, sir, joined with him in coming into a foreign country as a, 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 a foreign government. You were the only foreigner you are the only foreigner who came on, 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 on St. Lucian territory on Sunday and insult them, sir. Go check your history, Mr. Grenadian Prime Minister. Go check your history and tell me which country in the Caribbean have a foreigner or had a foreigner, somebody who is not a national, someone who is not have not signed their allegiance to the flag of St. Lucia. Someone who do not have family heritage or background in St. Lucia. Which one of them have led this country? Have, have led this country? Who? Which Jamaican national came to, to Grenada and became prime minister? Or came to St. Lucia and become prime minister? Which one? Which Canadian citizen came to St. Lucia and became a prime minister? Which one of them? Who? Wait, who came from the United States and became a prime minister? So let me tell you something. This garbage that you are injecting into the bloodstream of St. Lucia, the racism, we need to call it what it is. The racism. And what you consider nationalism Many countries have tried that crap. They have 
divided the country and they're breaking it up in pieces that they can't even manage it at this point. And if I heard, if I was sitting there in my red shirt and I heard a foreign government trying to insult or punch a St. Lucian national under his gut, I would not clap for that. Those people sided with a foreign government in belittling their national. That's what they did. Because Mr. Chastney ain't no Grenadian. Mr. Chastney is not from Caracou or Petit Martinique. He's a St. Lucian. Hi everyone, thanks for checking out the Bub Report's social media pages. If you'd like to get more videos, show highlights, and watch our weekly live show, follow our Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram pages, and also subscribe to our YouTube channel. You can catch repeat episodes on Wednesdays at 4 and 5 p.m. respectively on CRFM Radio and GBN TV in Grenada. We are also viewed on Sundays at 8 p.m on WPG10 throughout the Caribbean. Thanks for watching.